All right, I arrived at Squim Bay, Lima and I. Uh, we had some issues on the ferry. We damaged one of our jack pads uh, on a motorhome, but you know, that's why I carry blocks too, wood blocks. So I was able to level us out last night in the dark. We got some road noise behind me. Uh, so apologize for that. So we're here. We're gonna be crabbing this weekend as well. And we're gonna hit this place called Oak Table or Oak Door. They say the food is unbelievable. And you know, there I go again, unbelievable. So here we go. Welcome to Squim State Park 2023. This is your pay station when you come in and they have like little buildings like this kind of all over the place. It's early in the morning and we are down, this is RV Row down there. I don't know if you can see that. But the family that comes here every year, they're back again. And this year they are shrimping too. So we'll probably get some of that bounty. So this place has many little small buildings like this, little gazebos with, you know, this one has a fire pit, you know, for cooking. Uh, I'm not sure if this is reservable or not, but I'm gonna show you what makes this place so fun. As you look around, this is the trash. What does that say? Crab only there's a lot of crab here uh, beautiful trail system uh, we do hike every now and again here but when we come here it's all about uh, getting out on that water on the kayak riding our bikes and then also going to the casino and then this year someone told us about a restaurant that we're gonna try and I'll give you guys a review of that once we get there because they say it's one of the best restaurants here in Squim. And then this is a little amphitheater area. This is pretty cool as well. All right, we're coming up to the water. Uh, like I said, it's early in the morning. Got a nice marine uh, layer that's over us. This is, this is pretty cool. Um, it's not very hot. This is very comfortable. Sixty-six is a nice spot, double spot. Got two parking pads. <laughs> Seventy-four is nice as well. Eight is a nice spot. Maybe one is right on the water. That's pretty nice as well. I think they're kind of camping out of the vehicle there, but 81 is on the water. 82 look has two parking spots. This is okay. Park your motorhome here. We could probably use this space if we had to. This is 83. 83 you have motorhome clear and then you got a big area down there where you can for the tent and whatnot. 85, 86. These are decent sites as well for car camping. So this is the Olympic Cycling Trail. And this trail runs about 100 miles. Maybe not use it yesterday to get down to 
the uh, Jamestown. There's a, a Indian cultural center here, native cultural center called Jamestown, which is actually pretty nice. We rode our bikes down there. It's about from here, round trip, uh, let's see, roughly six miles round trip. So not too bad at all. So here we have a bunch of bike trails and there's some hiking. Hiking trails are not very extensive, but there are hiking trails. Uh, so there's a little bit for everyone. This is a place that if you have your bicycles, your e-bikes and whatnot, bring them because this place is for you. Yeah, Lee and I have been paddling our kayak. This is the first time we've crabbed off the kayak. And I'll show you that setup, the full setup. It's been pretty fun and it's been safe. So we got to go out tonight and grab our pots. Not pots, but pick the crab. And we'll leave them out overnight. And then when we leave in the morning, we'll grab the pots, bring them back, load up the motor home, and we'll be ready to go. I'll probably load the motor home tonight, but. All right. We're gonna run over the underpass and Scrum State Park. They do have a lot more here to meet the eye. I'm gonna do this. I'll show you the uh, park real quick, the playground for the kids, and then we'll head over to the underpass. All right, living life is, forgive my wife, she's a hot mess today. We camping though, look at the clothes she got on, puffy jacket, Stop. it's about 80 degrees out. <laughs> she got that puffy jacket on. All right, we at the campsite, I have pumped up my inflatable. Of course, I let the pump do that, I didn't really do much work. But, got my crab pot set, ready to go. I'm gonna warm up some steak and eggs real quick. Uh, Motorhome is looking beautiful as always. I'm getting ready to send my husband off yeah, to adventure his first time on a kayak. Grab it. 2023. Hey, thanks. My husband has positioned the boat so he can sit in the boat and crab away. The current is a little rough today due to the wind. I'm sorry. It's a little windy out here. The water is a little lumpy. My husband is going to venture out. And he's going to make sure we have crab food on our table. What a provider I have. What a provider. Again, this is our first time trying this. And we're just going to check it out and see how everything goes. Little seaweed there, hon. Be careful. Thanks, man. <laughs> and he's off. I must leave the boat ramp. I'm standing out here like I have a boat, or I am a boat. I better get out of the way before these vehicles run me over. No, it's a little baby crab. He's about two feet down. Okay, ready? Watch. Oh, look. Oh, look how they're everywhere. Really. These are the holes for the gooey Look, bags. you just turn this, open this. <laughs> oh, see that? There he is, right what on is top. That? What is that? It's a gooey duck. Steve, I bet he's yeah, right there. He he's right there. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. He's right at the yeah. top. Yep. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's another one. Look. 
<laughs> Louis Duck is spitting on us. <laughs> We're gonna have to go Steve, I touched him and he ran down. Yeah, oh. maybe we'll put a little tag and get him here. See the baby crabs? It's a lot of work though. Is it oh, the gooey dog? Look, yeah. look at this guy. He's probably two look, feet down, foot and a half, two feet Where's down. This guy. See if I touched him and he moved. Yeah. <laughs> he went back down. <laughs> I wanna see one. I haven't seen one. Well you won't see him because oh, only the neck is coming out. Oh. This long, the neck's just long. Oh. So the, I'll show you the body's picture. down. Uh -huh. About this big down below. Okay. But he's two feet up so right they farm raise them here on the bay somewhere, which I'm not sure where. Mm -hmm. But I was we were up. Do you guys go to John Lane Marina? Um, we went there before. Yeah, it's just that's right a there. big one there. That's a so, big gooey duck. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. <gasps> see that hole? Whoa! Something just right here. No, that is that is the hole that yeah. she she reached into. Have you seen the shrimp? Uh uh. Oh, if you guys ever go shrimping, look at those. <laughs> Okay. They had about 500 pounds of shrimp. Oh, look at all the little crabs running. Watch. <laughs> what are you doing, Steve? That's for tomorrow if I could come or one day. <laughs> oh, if you come, you're going to get them tomorrow? No, someday. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we got tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we do later. shrimp. Uh, did you? So did you eat any? Yes, the tiger prongs? No, spot. Spot prongs. Yeah. Yes, okay. ma'am. Yeah, they're so yeah. good. They taste like cotton candy. Oh, my goodness. I'm not on My baby is way out there trying to find a, a decent spot to set his crab pots. It would appear that he found a location at this point in given time. Well, we'll see how this location do. He will set the pots and return to shore to pick me up so we can kayak uh, the bay and have a uh, somewhat relaxing and joyful kayaking day. It would appear that my husband is having a hard time dropping these crab pots on the kayak by himself which leads me to say that he needs my assistance to steer the kayak as he drop it isn't easy doing this type of thing by himself unless he develop a routine to better utilize his skills, his tools, slash equipment on his own. Mr. Fairley is a venturing back from dropping the crab pots. It would appear that he is riding the waves or the current that is bringing him this way. He's doing little to no problem. Just taking a, a nice ride in from the luxury of Mother Nature. This is what they pay and kayaking is all about. Just sitting back and enjoying the view. It doesn't matter where my husband is, he will find someone to talk to. As he floats into dock, he found, he finds another fisherman to compensate with. Where well, there's a will, there's a way. My husband will forever be remembered for talking. Oh, the time. Mr. Fairley, girls would like to know what was the problem out there? Man, what took so no long? Joke. Hey, that wind was no joke. Trying to set the fire, boy, it's almost impossible. Hmm. One would say, did you need your wife? Oh yeah, so you can tell them. <laughs> 
see views. I told you. He needed me. So you can battle. So it would be safe to say that setting pots is a two man job? Oh, on this boat? Yeah. On a, on a real boat? No. Real boat. He said no on a real boat. Okay, really? So why am I utilized a lot? <laughs> On the I oh, see you still need me. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It's a need. Yes, it is. They like they picking up their pot, or are they dropping? Okay, people, we're in Squim Bay again. This is Levis Bay. She thinks that there's freshwater fish in here that won't eat her. But there are literally whales in this water, oh, so and they are telling me whales. I will eat Leva. But this is very, very pleasant. I'm very relaxed. I'm not thinking about work. Or... You look down. Look at the grass. Look, look at the grasses. Let me stick my paddle down and show you how deep it is. It ain't deep. You good unless you worry about drowning. I mean, you good. You can just stand up in that right there. And look at this. Remember I told you how to attack these waves? Turn that angle. And that little boat right there is what you was worried about causing a big weight. Yes. Huh. You see how little that boat is? Why are you always complicated? You got any him? There you go, boo. There it is. People, what's going on, living lifers? We got the sun is on us. This is going to be our profile pic for a minute. Oh, no. Leaving it's Sam not. at Squim Bay. Look, look below. Do you see the moisture beds? Where? Oh, we're getting close to the getting close. Look down in the water. I'm telling you to look oh, in the water. Oh, oh, oh. Let me let y'all see Here, what I'm seeing. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to see? You want to see? <laughs> yeah. I they might be able to see what we can see. I'm going to flip oh, this around. I got it. Okay, peeps. Let's see. This. Seaweed. These are oyster beds. I'm gonna jump in here and get me a couple oysters. Beautiful. I'm looking at oyster beds. That's too deep for me to pick up. Stick your paddle down. See? I'm right there. Okay, you reach out, reach out and pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to reach out there and you pick it up. My wife wanted me to get a picture of this. Haziness. We're run over all these pipes. With his boat. This is the greater northwest, you guys, on the peninsula. Say that again? The greater northwest peninsula. Okay. I didn't know there was such a thing as the greater northwest <laughs> peninsula, but if my wife said it, it must be true. We are in the greater northwest, correct? We are in the greater northwest. And we're on the peninsula. What would Canadians say about that? Oh, whatever. We ain't about the Canadian. We're, we're what? We are. We live a life. We about every people. We All right, living lifers. We got one big male, and we're gonna take it a little bit deeper. Where that lady was saying they were catching nothing but males, and we're gonna leave it out here. Uh, Leva did a great job. She picked the spot. We let it soak all night. It was a work. It was effort, but you know what? This is good though. This is good. I'm happy. We got one crab so far, and. These guys, these crabs, these are male. You can see the, 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 see how thin that is? The female have real thick ones. Car carapaces? Carapaces? Is that what they're called? I'll have to give you the true definition of that. So we're going to drop deep. But look at this. We got, we might have two keepers if that's the male. Look at that monster right there. That's a monster. That is a monster. He humongous. You know what? He looking at me. I'm looking at him. I'm not going to touch him. <laughs> I'm not going to touch them until I'm ready to deal with them. But man, that's nice, right? That's nice, people. It's nice. It's a monster. Squim, Squim Bay State Park. We are on the Bay Park. They closed the dock down, but they did add these mooring buoys. If you can see that on the camera, the white buoys in the water. Because I'm sure people complained about not having a place to, you know, come and visit. So, um, I got my trolling motor working right now. Uh, Leva, she is a trolling motor still, so, we're gonna get, get. I tell you, we caught 
a monster crab. I mean, you guys, I don't know if you saw him. Let's see if I can see him behind me. He is a monstrous crab. Let's see. He tried to get me, people. He tried to get me. He tried to eat me. And he took my coffee cup. My coffee cup is in that bucket, so <laughs> a fresh cup of coffee. This is the Pacific Northwest. You guys know we love our coffee. What's for dinner soon? Crab or ribs? Hey, you ain't lying. <laughs> hey, peeps, gonna be crab and ribs for me today. Tonight, leaving in case no crab, so. Oh, uh, I did? Oh, oh, sorry. All right, we headed out. Gonna ride the electric bike. Gonna ride them bike down the trail. Don't know where we're gonna go. We're gonna end up in Indian Village somewhere. Look at that right there, boy. Oh, oh that's awesome. Oh, we could have we could have kayaked down here all the way all the way into Squim Bay well they got tunnel on the other side let me check the other side real quick I'm here. There you go. So this is the Indian thing, like Elder's Lounge. I wish they had a trail that went all the way back to the casino. All right, living life as we have made it again. We just went to the where the Elder's Longhouse is. Now uh, we are at a little park, which is it's pretty nice. We're right above we're right above Squim Bay. And this place is very nice. I'll turn you around. What's that? Yeah, they did a really good job on landscaping. Let me get my shadow out of here. So they have totems here. I have no idea what that says. Sam is great. And we are on those electric bikes again. Getting it in. We have rode about 40 miles. Okay, four four miles. We rode four miles. And I'm gonna sleep good tonight because I am feeling it a little bit. Here's the park. Girl, they got a bear in the park. A bear in the park. I said, mate, does it look, is this brand new? Uh, Some remodeling? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. And what tribe is this? You gotta look it up. I'll have to look it up. Because I like to give some good knowledge to the people. And that ain't water, people. That's wine. Champagne, that's wine. My wife is built on champagne. Or wine. My business. <laughs> I'm in your business, girl. <laughs> this, this is living, living life. life. Remember, Remember to, to keep, keep living and enjoying life. Subscribe and follow. Yeah. Hit that like button. <laughs>